Your Highness, I greet you. Since you succeeded your father as our king, we have surpassed all the surrounding communities in terms of bountiful harvest, relative peace, and general human development. Here becomes another opportunity for us to be miles aware of them since they will provide us with new farming instruments and other good things. Your Highness, you did well by assembling us. But my point here is that we cannot agree to accept the white men into our community simply because they promised to teach us their new way of farming. Your Highness, let us not forget our inherited style of farming and adopt white men method. Mm -hmm. eh? They just want to fool us and they take away our Google mask. Therefore, let us do something. They can't just hoodwink us so easily. We must do something, Your Highness. Let's do something. Your Highness. 
Eh, that's a full moji. Ichi nana made a vital point. We will not fold our arms and watch the white men fool us at all. Eh? I want to ask, what type of development will they give us? They will deceive us and take Ogugu mask away. It will not happen. Ogugu will not allow that to happen. Elders of our land, you have all spoken very well. I believe that we have all concluded on one point that we will not allow the white men to come into our community. Is that not what we have agreed? Yes, 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 yes. Very good. You see, I am so, so grateful to our gods for giving us such wise elders. May our gods continue to bless and keep you. Igwe, they are coming, Igwe. Okay. Let them come. Igwe. What brings you to my palace? Um, Your Highness, we are the messengers from Igwe Kunta, the Igwe of Umuagu. He sent us to inform you that his son, Prince Uzoma, will be visiting your palace of a great purpose. Of a great purpose? Yes, your Highness. Hmm. I don't understand of a great purpose. Explain to me. Igwe, he said there's a ripe palm fruit in your palace, which his son, the prince, is interested in. <laughs> I didn't plant any palm tree in my palace. Uh, anyway, uh, when is the prince coming? In six market days, your highness. Hmm. Six market days. All right. You also seek a favor. What favor is that? Uh, your highness, that you do everything within your power to see that this works between his own and his object of interest, your highness. I tell my friend Igwe Konta that I've had him. I will do everything in my power to make sure that everything works well. Thank you, Your Thank Highness. Thank you, Your Highness. We may take our leave now. Greetings to your king. Thank, Thank you, Your Highness. We take our leave. Mm. This is just what I expected. Exactly what I expected. Adeze, uh, my daughter, you have gotten yourself a husband that I have always wished for you. Elders, I greet you. Yeah. I know you'll be wondering why I invited you to this mission. Mm, Your Highness, it is not up to the market week you invited us here. And now you say we should come again. Yes, I invited you to inform you that my very good friend, Igwe Kunta, sent messengers to my palace with the proposal that his son, 
will be visiting my palace. Um, we have had you, Your Highness, but you have not told us his mission to your palace. He said that his son is interested in harvesting a palm fruit. <laughs> now that we know the proposed mission, uh, but, but uh, Your Highness, yes. uh, how do we prepare? Concerning this, yes, yes, yes. That, that is the reason why I invited you here so that we can deliberate on our preparations. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Your Highness, she's going to be a royal marriage, yes, and yes. should be witnessed by entire community. We should be able to show the people of Omaru that we are great and equal to the task. Yes, <laughs> traditional dancers should perform, including mm -hmm. the masquerade. <laughs> we should be able to have enough to eat and yeah. drink. Oh, yeah. Your Highness, Ichin Nana has said it all. But another thing I want to ask is uh, will they go back the same day? Because we all know that Umago is a distant road from here. So that we begin to plan along providing accommodation for them too. All right. Mm -hmm. There are enough rooms in my palace. <laughs> I will personally provide all the palm wine that will be served our visitors. <laughs> Maybe we know what they can do. But how about you, can I? <laughs> Your Highness, <laughs> Your Highness, are you telling us that uh, the Prince of Umago is visiting this palace for, I, for the princess? What is your problem? Must proof I be explained to you after they are said? So, Your Highness, when are we expecting the prince? In six market days. And um, Ichi will be more. Yes, Your Highness. Ichi Ago is not here. Yes. So, please tell him that he should make sure he gets us enough palm wine. And I mean, the finest of palm wine. <laughs> if possible. Your message has gone to. <laughs> yes. Your message yes. has gone to. Uh, all right. All right. Uh, let me leave him at once. My princess, have you heard? Heard what? Your father is planning a surprise marriage for you on a Kamake day. Really? Yes. <laughs> it's true, my princess. I even heard a town cry announced it around the village. How come I'm just hearing it? Coming from both of you. That's why it's a surprise marriage. I heard he's a prince of Umago, a very handsome man and rich. Being rich and handsome doesn't really count. What makes a good husband is the ability of that man to love cherish and protect the woman he loves. Besides, why would my father make such a plan without telling me first? Because he wants to surprise you with a husband. What a loving father you have. And you two are buying such a wonderful idea? A rich and influential prince. Think about it. If only I'm in your shoes. <laughs> I really do not have anything to think about. You can have him if you want, okay? If status can change, I will grab him with my open arms. You're yeah. so carried away with what you hear. He might just be the opposite of what you think. I heard his father is a king, and you know your father can't get you nothing but the best. <laughs> it's just hearsay everywhere. Eh? Just concentrate on my hair, please. Stop pretending, my princess. You will like him. Till then. Oh, he's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Once again, you are all welcome to my palace. My mm. prince. My prince, you are welcome. Uh, how is your father, my very good friend? Your Highness, he's fine. He sends his regards. Kachan! Rien! Zom! Igwe! We came all the way from our land to seek that which makes a man complete. It is our pleasure to announce to you that we have found that in the humble abode of our noble king, Igwe Zulonya, Igwe Kenengi. Kenengi. The mission of our prince here is obvious. 
we have come to seek the hand of adorable Ades in marriage. How much you catch on? Run! You see, when a man is of age and looks around and sees nothing to scratch his itches, he looks for a woman to do it. <laughs> My prince, yeah. you are of age. Yes. And um, your father has been a very good friend of mine. And I believe that your union with my princess, my daughter, will cement the very good relationship that has been existing between our two communities. As no kwalogi oda, one divine. Your Highness, you have said it all. It's now left for our daughter, the princess, to come out here and show us her husband so that the merriment can continue. Oh yes, Ichie. Today is a great day of merriment. A day of merriment. God! Go and bring the princess. Yes, he will. Greetings to you, my elders. Yes, my princess. Yes. My jewel. My princess. It is the tradition of our people that you do this in the presence of the elders and the entire people. You are a very beautiful princess. Oh, wow! And Prince Uzoma, a royal prince, and my friend's son, is also a very handsome young man. <laughs> and I know and believe that both of you will make a very good family. Huh? Ndiocha. <laughs> yes. Uh, so you will take drink and then show us that young man that is very close to your heart. <laughs> take a drink and show our people and his people that young man that you want to take as your sweetheart. Uh, hi. <coughs> My princess, now go confirm for us. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, wow! Yeah, man, oh. Oh. I said <laughs> Princess! Hey! Alume! Hey. What insolence? Hey! Alume! Hey. Can't take this! This is it. Let's get out of here. My prince. Uh, My prince, don't just leave. Hey. Don't just leave like that. Your Highness, I just can't take this. Our prince. Hey. What is this? Why are you laughing? What is happening? My queen, what have you done? Your Majesty, I... I haven't done anything. Did you not see how your daughter disgraced me today? I asked you to prepare her for today. But what did I get? Disgrace. Now, it is going to be the talk of the town. Your Majesty, I tried my best. But she said she doesn't know anything about the suitor. 
You failed woefully as a mother. You couldn't even convince your daughter to accept the suitor we got for her. Your Majesty, I tried my best. Your best was not enough. Your best was not enough. I want to see the princess here now. Let me get her, Your Majesty. I'm so sorry, Father. But I don't think he's the right husband for me. You don't have to think. We made the best choice for you. He's from a good home. His father is my very good friend, and I know he took after his father. Oh, Father, I was not informed of the arrangement early enough. I only got the message from Mother yesterday that I was to be married today. It was supposed to be a surprise marriage. And I tell you, my dear, he is the right man for you. No, he's not. Why tell me your reasons why he is not? Father, something within me tells me he's not the right man for me. He's as hot-tempered as everyone witnessed today. Father, I can't marry such a man. But don't talk about hot temper here. You made him angry. But, Father, if not for his hot temper, at least he would have respected you and the elders by listening to your own opinion on the matter, instead of walking out on everyone. You don't know the magnitude of what you have done to me and the throne. Let me ask you a question, Father. Go ahead and ask. Is the throne more important? than your only child's happiness. God, can you see her? Your daughter is now questioning me. Your Majesty, I don't see anything wrong with what she just asked. Your Majesty, we made a mistake. And we should look for a way to amend it. I think what we should do is to plead with her to accept this marriage. We can go and get another date for it. And that will subside the shame. Please, Your Majesty. Mother, marriage shouldn't be by force, but by choice. You better go and think of how you remove the shame that you've put on this family. Father, it's not fair. <laughs> You have not told me anything about your mission to Ngoj. Since yesterday you came back, you have not uttered a word. Remember, I'm your father, you are confident, and the depository of your confidence. Tell me exactly what happened. Father, can you imagine that small girl rejected me before the people of Umoji? Because I stooped so low to ask for a hand in marriage? No, no. Calm down, my son. Tell me all that happened. The little girl rejected me before the people of Umoji. And her father sat there and did nothing about it. Why would she do that? I don't know. I don't know, father. At first, she was just looking at me as if she wants to devour me in the next second. Suddenly she came and walked past me and spilled the wine. No, no, father. 
I have never met this humiliated in my entire life. No. All these are happening because of a daisy? No, father. No. Chris, what did the father say? No, oh, I didn't allow him to say anything. I just left. What else will he say? Because he sat there and watched his daughter disgrace me. Now, you should have waited. Because you were provoked, you couldn't be here any longer. That was why you left like a good dead life. Father, I don't care whatever nonsense that might spill out of his mouth. He has disgraced me enough. The prince! You have a point. Because he's the king and the father of the girl. Father, I don't care if he's the king. I don't care. He sounds like a wicked. For sitting there, watch his daughter disgrace me. I know he has nothing more to say than I'm sorry. Sorry, my foot! My friends, that sorry meant a lot. Since he comes from a king. What, what difference will it make, father? It has nothing to change. Oh, father. I can't take this, father. No. No, I'm the prince, father. I know you are the prince. Oh. You would have with that. No, no, father. Okay. Could have All right. Let me think of what to do. I will handle it. Okay. Let's go now. The moonlight is over now. What are you still waiting for? Come on, sit down. Let's sit down. <coughs> I am worried. Worried about what? The prison did not come. <laughs> well, uh, maybe it's because of what happened yesterday. Tell me more. What exactly happened? The princess rejected the prince of Umar huh? by pouring away the wine given to her to show her husband. That's good. I like what she did. Yes. You are not serious. <laughs> Why would you love such an insult like that? The prince wants to marry the girl I have been dreaming of marrying. Don't you get it? But thank God it's a dream. Is that why you frequent the village square at night? <laughs> Okoro, you won't understand. I love princess so much. I can't even allow any man to take her away from me. What? I was actually checking if you're okay. Okay, okay. When was the last time you took her uh, uh, medicine? Oh, Okoro. Now I see that you want to reduce me to nothing. Let's wait and see what tomorrow will bring. Now what is happening? Oh. Seems as if all the animals had a meeting to elude us today. I agree with you, my prince. I suggest we move forward to the other side of the forest. The other side? Yes. But we have crossed into Moji already. Wouldn't they attack us there? Eh? Attack us? <laughs> okay. What are all these arms doing in our hands? Eh? If they attack us, we attack them back. Obina, these arms are for animals, not human beings. Then when human decides to act like animals, they will leave us with no option than to shoot them. If we... Greetings. She is gorgeous. She must be the princess of Omoji. 
My own eyes have beheld the queen of the seven seas. My eyes have beheld the goddess of the earth. My prince, do you like her? Of course I like her. Can't you see? Who wouldn't like her? Eh? I mean, are you blind? She is just the perfect woman in my dreams. You know what, Obina? We will continue hunting, eh? This time around, we go that way. I'm <laughs> 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 See how the hunter was staring at you. <laughs> yes, I noticed. But why do you ask? Nothing. I just don't like it. A hunter admiring my princess. But oh, that's his business. He has his eyes, so let him feed them. Not on you, my princess. A common hunter. <laughs> but he looks so calm and cool to me. In Kiru, if we are to have this conversation today, I'm sure we won't go to the stream. Hmm? Okay, let's, let's hurry for nine four. Honestly, I had to leave Today's hunt was just useless. Yeah? To think that we didn't even come back with anything. No animal, not even a grass cutter. Inchi. You're right, my prince. <coughs> Today's hunting was nothing to write home about. From here to Umoji. Not even a bed. Not to talk of an antelope. Hi. Well, you know. Since we didn't succeed in hunting with our guns, I think I succeeded in hunting for my heart. So I would say today is actually a blessing in disguise. <laughs> my friend, hmm. it appears you are falling for the princess of Omoji. And how do you know she's a princess? With my inner eyes, I can tell she is a princess. Hmm? Well, if Umoji has another mm -hmm. one as princess, that person is not worth being a princess. <laughs> but this one is... <sighs> Bina. Bina, she's so beautiful. Never met a woman that, that, that beautiful and precious. Oh my. My prince, mm -hmm. are you saying that all the girls in Akaba are not precious? Oh, no, no, no. no. Don't get me wrong. You know, we, we have beautiful maidens in Akaba, but the moment I saw her, she struck my heart. <laughs> you have indeed fallen for her. I can see that. Obina, I want to make her my wife. My prince, this soon? Yes. See, that kind of woman, eh? you should not allow another man to get to her before you. No. In that case, my friends, we have to go and look for her before someone else gets to her first. Abina, this is actually the best thing you have said today. <laughs> My good friend. <laughs> yes, just read my mind. Okay, um, tomorrow then. I think I have to take my leave now. It is getting late. Mm, and dark. Mm. Yeah. Let me run Okay, no, no problem. See you tomorrow then. Okay. Huh? I think they will still pass here today. Let's just be patient. Hmm? We might be lucky. Yeah. But then, we have been here for quite a while. We're here for some time. 
I suggest we go into their village and look for them. Eh? Yes. It's not wise to do that, my prince. Eh? How can you suggest we... Remember, we are not from the village. They might mistake us for something else. You are right. You are right. They may think we are spies. Oh. But, hey! I didn't know the one. They are not the ones coming. Eh? Only at the base of Yuruki Ruevi. Prince, it appears you've not taken your time to look at that girl. Eh? She's so gorgeous. Under the base of Okuka Okumbada. Igwe, some visitors are here. From Oma, good to see you. Bring them in. Igwe. Igwe. What brings you to my palace? Your Highness, we came to deliver a message from our king, Igwe Kunta. Go ahead, I am all ears. Um, Your Highness, our Igwe expresses disappointment as regards to what happened in your palace the last time his son visited. He said you should make things work so that the relationship between the both kingdoms can be cemented. You tell your Igwe that I have heard him. I tell him that I apologize for what happened the last time. I take full responsibility. And also tell him that I will do my best to make sure that the marriage comes to light. And then give him my greetings. Yes, Your Highness. We should be on our way to Moabu. Be on your way. My greetings to your king. You know, my father told me that I should marry no one else. No one else but a princess. Then, Why would your father give you such condition? Do I, do I know? Do I know? I was surprised when he said it yesterday. Just looking at you. Maybe he has found a princess for you. He did not find anybody. See his problem. He believes that if I marry a princess, it will make me start acting like a royal <laughs> That's funny. Uh, but you are not acting otherwise. Hmm? Yeah, I don't even care how I act. That one is not even my problem. My own problem is whether if we are going to see that girl today. Hopefully. Hopefully. <clears throat> Let's just wait. What is it? They are coming. Huh? Now, listen. You have to compose yourself very well and open a conversation with her. What? Uh, I just want to talk to you. Uh, please leave us alone. My princess, let's go. Leave her alone, Mr. Hunter, before I shout. Don't shout. No, I can't say that. Easy. What do you want to talk about? <laughs> because, because I just want to talk to you. About what? You don't even know how to talk. My princess, let's leave this place. I want thou. Listen, since you don't have anything meaningful to say, good day. Ha! 
cannot believe this. Hi, Ubina. Do you know I just lost this opportunity? Yeah? I don't even know what happened to me. I, 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 I approached Dan suddenly. My brain just became empty. I didn't know what to say. I do not even need a soothsayer to tell me that your brain was empty. Hi. You would have said something meaningful. Well, it was just a first time fright. Hmm? I know you will do better next time. Eh? Next time? Will there be a next time? Of course there will be a next time. Unless you are giving up already. Shall never end. A hunter wants my princess. <laughs> the word is that he couldn't even talk, not even a word. Enough of this hunter talk. Mm. Uh -uh. Uh -huh. Let's hurry up before someone else interrupts. Maybe this time a magic shot. <laughs> Wait, let's go. But that hunter looks so cool and handsome, my princess. Inkiru. Oh. Inkiru, this is the second time you're saying this about this hunter. It's just my observation, my Enough, princess. enough, enough. Let's leave. Maybe she likes him, my princess. Huh? Alec, I'm my very good friend. Where are you? Ah. Ah. It's me, man. <laughs> ah. So it's you, man. Ah. <laughs> what brought you to my humble abode? Ah, ah. Alec, have I not been coming here? You ask me as if I have not been visiting you. You have not been coming. The last time you came, it was a long, many years ago. That was the time you came to borrow money for that your uh, second wife's uh, diary. Have you, have you come to pay back? Aleka, honestly, I thought you have forgotten. But uh, that is not what, even what brought me here. In fact, I'm highly in need of bushmeat. And I remember that I have a friend, a very nice friend, who is a hunter. Now I decided to come and know whether if I can get bushmeat from you. I don't have bushmeat. Um, Ume, do you remember your utterances the other day in the village square? When you announced publicly that I cannot even kill common grass cutter? Eh? Do you remember? Aleka, I remember. But that was a joke. Ah. But seriously, do you have bushmeat? A joke. A joke. How do you think that somebody that cannot kill grass cutter we get uh, bushmeat. Tell me. Uh, that's, I have to go now. If you want to go, you go. You, but listen. If you need bushmeat, join me in hunting. Join me. Ah, uh, like, uh, 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 we shall uh, see at the uh, when, when, when are you uh, paying me? The money. That's no problem. When I have the money, I will pay you. Uh -huh. But for now, seriously, Aleka, my good friend, you have bushmeat. Whether seriously or not seriously, I don't have bush meat. I, have to go I don't now. have. I have eh? to go. I will. I will see you in the village oh, square later. I will see that. Eh? Uh, the only thing I can offer you there is uh, pan wine, eh? Hey, hey, hey! My princess, mm -hmm. do you notice that someone has been stalking you at the village square? No. Who could that be? Oh, my princess, you hardly notice things. Okeke has been trailing you always. Okeke. Who is Okeke? So you mean you do not notice those two boys that always come to the moonlight dance? <sighs> now that you mention it, I think I've seen them. But they love to come watch the dance. <laughs> no, you are wrong. They always come there because of you. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and Kiru. So you mean to tell me that the other boys and the elders also come there because of me? No, I also heard that Wakeke likes you. In Kiru. I don't want to have this conversation with you. Nugo. Can you go and get me water to drink? Oh, okay, my princess. Love to go to <laughs> My princess, sit down. Thank you, Father. You can leave us now. We My princess, I called you for us to have a heart to heart talk. You know that after the last incident concerning Prince Uzoma, my office as the king of this kingdom has free been on everyone's lips. As a king that cannot manage his own. I am sorry for arranging a surprise marriage for you. But I thought that that would have been a very good gift from our loving father to his daughter. How wrong I was. Please, father, don't blame yourself. I'm sorry for the way I acted. I will invite him again for both of you to get to talk and know each other. Since you are asking, I will gladly welcome him. Oh, that's my jewel, <laughs> my adorable princess. You will surely like him. Father, if there's nothing else, I beg to take my leave. That's all right. You can leave now. Thank you, Father. Good. Good <laughs> Just another chance, let me talk to you. Oh, why am I? Why rush at me? Hey, I, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. See, the other day I, I, I didn't perform well, I know. So I said to myself that the moment I see you, eh, princess, I'll rush you and start telling you my mind. Who told you I'm a princess? I, I heard it from your, your friends that day. Okay, be fast with whatever you have to say. Speak now. See, okay, I like you. Is that all? For now. <coughs> Thank you very much. Let's proceed to this train. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, can I come and see you tomorrow anywhere you, you'll be? just missed another chance. Huh? You only said you like her. See, you've been... This thing is not easy. It's not my fault. I got there, tension was high. You know, before now, I had prepared all the things I wanted to tell her. The moment I got there, somehow, everything I wanted to see just vanished from my head. All you have prepared? I'm telling you. Well... Today is better than the other day. Mm -hmm. 
At least she knows you like her. So my princess, that hunter stops just to tell you he likes you. It takes a lot of courage to say that. That one that was shivering and stammering. My dear, I saw the way he was shivering. Listen, I don't want us to gossip today. Hurry up, I'm expecting a visitor, okay? So finally, the chicken has come home to roast, and the charming prince has gotten my princess. I'm happy for you, my princess. It's not what you think. It's just an avenue for us to get to know ourselves. Enjoy your stay with him. He's every woman's dream. I can see you're so excited. Don't worry. When we get back to the palace, you explain to Her Majesty why your pot broke. My princess, it is my pleasure to come so that we can discuss our marriage. I must confess, you hurt me so badly with what you did the other day. That was a slap on my personality. I see nothing wrong with what I did. When you put a horse before the cat, how do you expect it to move? put the horse before the cart. Is that enough reason for you to disgrace my personality? How can I ac accept you when I know nothing about you? Oh, my princess, you are the only one who have not heard about me. When all the towns and villages know me. For your information, I am the prince with class. Check me out. Interesting. So tell me, how do we go about it? Interesting. Accept my marriage and I will fix a new date for us. I'll have to think about it. What do you want to think about when you have seen me already? Now you are beginning to sound like my father. I cannot sound like your father because I'm much better and popular than your father. <laughs> Billy? And I want to make you popular too. How cute. Thank you so much. But I love to live the low profile life. What's your problem? I'm trying to make you a better person. Just make you popular like I do. And you're here for meeting rubbish. Are you talking to me like that? How else do you want me to talk to you when you don't want to reason well? Anyways, you know you're going to be a future queen, so you better start thinking like one. Thank you for the offer, but I'm not interested. Why the sudden change? At first you were nice, now you're just being misunderstood. Anyways, you said you want to think about it, right? I'll give you two days. You're such a character. Are you ordering me to give you a reply in two days? <laughs> well, I just thought about it. And my answer is no. <laughs> you know, when my mother was still alive, she said, when a woman is unnecessarily upset, ignoring her is the best solution. See you in two days time. I don't think this marriage would ever work. 
I just can't live with a man who is too proud of himself and doesn't seem to care about other people's feelings. He's so hot-tempered and extremely bossy. Come on, calm down. Calm down, my princess. Where is he now, if I may ask? He left. Mm. So what did you say to him that made him flare up? Father! A man cannot get angry with a woman if the woman does not say something or act silly. You surprise me these days. <laughs> Good night, father. Oh, I'll see you now. You are even walking out on me, your father. I am not walking out on you, father. You just don't seem to understand. You do not know a thing about this man. Are you telling me that you discovered all this? Just this few minutes you stayed with him? And you want me to believe that? Princess, you want to put a slap on my face the second time? Father. Good night. My princess, did you notice the way OKK was staring at you last night at the moonlight dance? Yes, I noticed. Maybe he wants you to. That shouldn't be your problem right now, or mine, okay? But my princess, the young man is too handsome. <laughs> your own is to admire any man that makes advance at the princess. Julia, how are you? Listen, I, I, I think I have so much on my mind right now than to talk about whoever. My princess, what is it? Never mind. I think it has to do with the charming prince that came from Umago. That is my problem right now. But I don't want to talk about it, okay? Okay, my princess. Greetings, my princess. Greetings, my princess. You're both welcome. My princess. We were just passing by and we decided to, to say, say hi. hi. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome. My princess, we will have to go. Yes. Just like that. Yes, yes, At least let them get something for you. No, no, don't worry, my princess. We're oh. fine. Are you sure? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Thank you so much. Thank you. See you at the moon like that. All right, princess. We'll be expecting you. What is that? <clears throat> uh, nothing, nothing. Is anything funny? No, my princess. Son? Yes, father. I invited you here to ask you about your meeting with the princess. I was expecting you to say something, sis, but you kept not. Why? Father, I was not in the right frame of mind to talk to you. How did it go? A daisy is an ill bread with no respect. Son, my dear wet. How can you call a girl your wife to be an ill bread? But that best describes her. She's too proud of herself. She thinks everything starts and ends with her. Do you really love the princess? Of course I do, father. But her character is pissing me off. How can a woman wants to make every decision all by herself? And that is why you had to teach her in a polite way. Of course, trust me, father. I have to scold her to correct her. Son, you don't scold a grown-up woman. You talk to her Gently with soft words. But I have to scold her the way she will understand. Remember? Women are like flowers. They need utmost caring and petting. There's time for scolding. Not when we are trying to win her heart in marriage. Thanks, Father. 
Well, we agreed she will think about it. But I've given her two days to give me a reply. There you go wrong again. You would have asked her when she, then she would give you a reply. Father, why are you faulting everything I did? Because they were wrong steps. You must go back to Umoji and apologize to her. Of you and the princess in your head again. Okay, okay. What kind of woman being as you? Okay, okay. Why are you not there? Uh -huh. I was there. You greeted her and she responded. Nothing else. Why are you not there when I told her she made the scenario beautiful, Okuru? And, and she said thanks. And what's so special about all that? Okuru, I must do everything humanly possible to make the princess mine. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay, okay. My own is just to accompany you there and look for somewhere to sit down and uh, watch the whole drama. Mm -hmm. You understand, sir? I hope she comes to Moonlight Dance this evening. Let me show yes. you. Yes. The princess is not coming. Okoro, what's your problem? Are you jealous or what? Me, Okoro, jealous. No, jealous of what now? Jealous of you creating the picture, the image of you and the princess in your head. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. Is she coming? You again? Yes, me again. I just want another opportunity to talk to you. Why are you stalking me? Why do you always leave your hunting to come wait for me here? Because you are worth more than hunting. But it's your source of livelihood. So what exactly are you hunting? The princess or the animals? Both. One for my heart and the other for my family. Then I guess your family will be disappointed at you. No, they are not. They trust me. But how would they trust you when you leave the means of feeding them just because you want to feed your heart? Aren't you being selfish? No, I'm not. My princess, anything that affects the eyes affects the nose. And anything that affects my heart, affects my family. The heart needs to be settled so I can fend for my family. I see. But don't you think you're making your friends lazy? He is not making me lazy. You see, there is time for everything. So we pursue things as more important as it comes. Tell me, is standing here more important? than fending for your families. By the way, where are you from? We're from Akaba. What? Don't you think you're trespassing by hunting in a forest that does not belong to your community? Well, if it gives us true happiness, then it's worth trespassing. I suggest you both should start living now. Besides, I never knew you were this difficult. Just the other day, you couldn't even speak. My princess. No man will see a goddess like you and not be frightened. Am I a masquerade that frightens people? Besides, I thought you said you were a hunter. I am a great hunter. 
a very brave one at that. I have my own style of hunting. And that is why I'm here, always here, waiting for you. Coward. You two better start leaving. Let's go to the stream. Bina. Bina Alumel. Miss Barlume. I'm worried. You don't need to. Did you see the look on her face when I mentioned our village, Akaba? I did. But there is no cause for alarm. <coughs> At least we made progress today. Hmm. My princess, we are missing the moonlight dance. Can we go? No, I don't think so. I have a lot bothering me today. Why wouldn't you? When men are all over you, in the palace here, the Prince of Omaga will come. At the stream, the hunter will come. Then at the village square, okay, okay, we fix his eyes on you like a moron. Don't call anybody a moron. Oh, my princess, I'm sorry. I was just trying to describe the way he looks at you. Left to me, my princess. I would say you should accept the Prince of Omago to the end of all this drama. I can't remember telling any of you that that was what was bothering me. But we know. Tell me, is the Prince of Umuagu good? Yes, you are a princess and should respect your father's choice, his royalty, and you too. Hmm. I've heard you. Then what happens to Okeke and the hunter? <laughs> The hunter is actually my problem. I wish he would stop bothering me. Hey, why don't we invite the palace guards to scare them away? What if a fight ensues? <clears throat> that might result into war. My princess, as for me, the hunter is cool. But he doesn't deserve a princess like you. Inkiru, you don't cease to amaze me. What eh? is it? From all sides, you've always admired this hunter. Why don't you go and marry me? Enough of what this. Is it? Enough. Sorry, hunter this, hunter that. I don't want to hear it anymore. My friend, it has come to a stage. I need children to be playing around my compound. Have you found a wife? Yes. From where? From this village. Which family? The royal family, of course. Is it Ades the princess? Yes. Have you talked to her about that before? I haven't done that. Eh? That, that is why I came. Then you are telling on a difficult path. Eh? Alika, my good friend. Why can't you look other maidens around you and pick anyone so that we can go and do the bright eyes? See, Ume, Ume, you, you, you can't understand. Eh? I, need, I, need, I need a royal blood in my family. Mm, that's, that is why I'll be waiting for her all this while. Mm, there's no problem. Eh? There's no problem. Since you need a royal blood, eh? good. Whenever you want to go there, come, I will lead you to that place. Eh, hey, it's, right. it's now you are talking. Thank you very much. No problem. Thank you. You can go. You can go. Thank eh? you. Igwe. Hmm. Aleka. Ume. Igwe. Igwe. This one that both of you are here with a keg of palm wine. I hope all is well. Igwe. All is well, Your Highness. See, we are here for good. You see? We are here to inform you about Alika's intention. Yes. <coughs> As regards the tradition, mm. Your Highness, with due respect, I, Alika, the son of Okuta, the greatest uh, wrestler, Omoje, 
has ever had. Come to seek your daughter's hand in marriage. Hanika, which daughter is that? My princess Adese or someone else? Yes, your highness, Adese. <laughs> Alika, have you spoken with my daughter Adese? Uh, I, your highness, I thought it wise to see you first. <laughs> Alika, you have done well. Igwe. But don't you think you are too old? I mean, you are an old man. Don't you think you are too old for my princess, my beautiful daughter? A man is never too old for a woman. As you can see, I am still very strong. Yes, Your Highness. I can take very good care of your daughter. Which you come? And as the greatest hunter hmm. of the whole Umochi. Everybody knows that. You see? I, 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 I must make sure I protect her as well. <laughs> Alika, you have spoken well. Uh, but I still insist that you speak to my daughter first. Mm. Okay. As for the palm wine, it's for drinking, so we will drink it. Igwe! <laughs> so, Princess. I have come as we agreed. I gave you two days to think about it. So what's your response? There was no point in you coming. Because I already gave you my reply. Why are you complicating issues, Princess? Were you not the one who says I should give you some time to think about it? I know what I said. And I also remember giving you a response after you unleashed your temper on me. And what's your response? That we cannot live as man and wife. Says who? Me, of course. Why are you judging me wrongly, princess? I am not judging you wrongly. I'm only following my heart. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> And where is your heart leading you to? Somewhere promising. Certainly not in your direction. If I may say, your heart is leading you wrongly. Then let me worry about that. Princess. Why are you sounding so difficult? I am not being difficult. I just do not want to enter into a union that I will live to regret. Watch what you're saying, woman. I would not want to take that from you. I think I need to give you more grace. Two days. And let me know if you can come out of this madness of yours. I think I need to speak to your father before I leave. As you wish. And... If there is nothing else to talk about, I'd love to go back in to rest. Excuse me. Princess, you're walking out on me. Your Highness, my Prince, are you done this week? I am done with the Princess, Your Highness. She wouldn't listen to me. I think she's being unnecessarily stubborn. I will have to talk sense into her myself. I will appreciate if you do that, Your Highness. You don't worry yourself, my Prince. I cannot imagine myself give my daughter to anyone else but you. Thank you, Your Highness. I beg to take my leave. The sun is setting. My regards to your father. Thank you. To love. Sacrifice for love. Your love will never make. Oh, get it, 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 oh,
Aleka, what are both of you discussing? Must you who know everything? Mm -hmm. All of us are here and we used to discuss together. So tell us what you are discussing there. Oh, My friends, yeah. make sure no. Drink pan wine so that your brain will be open. Talk, 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 talk. Greetings to you, my princess. You again? I just came to greet you, my princess. Don't you both have any other thing to do than to stop the princess? Being around the princess is more than enough job already. And to now you have greeted me enough. Thank you very much. Thank you. Do you see what I'm saying? Listen, listen, I didn't kill this boy. So. You have to make haste. So. Which boys are you talking about? My friend, mind your business. Alika and Ume, let it not be something evil both of you are planning. Oh, we are not planning. I had the Rokwanu neighbor, man. I had the Rokwanu 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 man. my luckiest day because what I seek is right in front of me. Nai. Uh -huh. Good afternoon. Hey, good afternoon. <laughs> hey, well done. No, no, uh -huh. good afternoon. Uh -huh. Good afternoon. Uh, my princess, come, come, I want to talk to you. What do you want to talk about? Go on, I'm all ears. But not with these two. He's private. Nayalika, this one you want privacy with the princess. <laughs> Hope all is well. I want that one. Keep on moving. Go, go your way. Don't, don't interrupt me. Mind your business. Ah. <laughs> uh, uh, my princess, mm. the most beautiful girl that has graced our community. The pride of Umoji. <laughs> Why are you flattering me? Why all these praises? Do you know you are the reason I am single? Me? What did I do? How? You did nothing, my dear. I made a promise to myself. On the day we came to celebrate your naming ceremony in the palace. That I will remain single till you are groomed to a marriageable age. But as you can see, now, I am ready. That is why I'm making the move. <laughs> you are laughing. <laughs> you must be joking. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> How can I joke with uh, this important uh, matter? Eh? But you are my father's age mate. Ah. Age is not a barrier. No man is too old for a woman. Eh? As you can see, I'm still very strong. That is why they call me uh, the great hunter in Umoji. My princess, I want to marry you. I want to marry you. And the rest are short. 
that your protection is guaranteed. Then I'm sure you will marry me in your dreams. I'm surprised you haven't heard that I was betrothed to the Prince of Umuago. Ah, but you rejected him. Eh? I, I can be a better husband. No, Just please. try me. As you can see, I am heading to the stream. And my friends are waiting for me. So I don't want to keep them waiting. Oh, I have to go now. Uh, uh, my, my princess, what, what is the answer? Answer to what, Unai? Journey to love Sacrifice for love Yeah, love when they may Struggle for the princess That's what love can do Eat your love more Eat your love more Oh, Goro the basket waver. <laughs> <laughs> How many have you done today? Okay, oh, Kerry the hat waver. How many have you done today? I'm still weaving the princess hat. I'm on one. And as you can see, I'm on one too. <laughs> Okoro, I came for you to give me some tips on how to weave mine. Okay, okay, haven't we not tried enough already? I know, I know. Okay, okay, when everybody is busy watching and enjoying the beautiful dance, okay, okay, we are busy watching the presence. Okay, okay, we have tried everything possible to communicate with the princess. Yet it's not. Okay, okay, I rap with any fair princess, ah, no one choking on your son. My candle, get. Eh? I got one of the princess, ah. See, you need to respect guys. Since moonlight approach is not working, as you can see, I'm moving mine. But you are telling me to do this. How is it possible? What advice for? If not for helping each other. Okay, now sacrifice your time for me too. Agreed. I will gladly do so. So, where should I start? Start from this pantry. So, where can I get a knife? You go in there and under the top you see a knife. Uh, you will help me too. No problem. I beg. My own daughter kidnapped? No! What happened? Your Highness, some men came and bounced on us on our way back to the stream and they took the princess away. Not my daughter, because anyone who touches the tail of the lion will let him get ready to be consumed what's by the lion. What's going on here? Your daughter has been kidnapped while coming back from the street. What?